exercise number 12.2 of the chapter linear equation in one variable. Now let's see question number one. Here, three more than twice a number is equal to four less than the number. Find the number. Now let the number be x. And according to question, it has been given three more than twice the number. Means 2x plus 3 is equals to 4 less than the number. That is x minus 4. Now we are going to solve for x. And by doing so, we are going to make a transpose of this one. This will become 2x minus x equals to 3 will be sent on this side. So minus 4 minus 3. So 2x minus x will be x and minus 4 minus 3 will be minus 7. So required number is minus 7 as answer. Now let's move to question number 2. Here, when 4 consecutive integers are added, the sum is 46. Find the numbers. Now let 4 consecutive integers be x, x plus 1, x plus 2 and x plus 3. Now according to question, the sum of all the 4 integers is been given as 46. So x, x plus 1 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 3 equals to 46. Now we are going to solve for x. And here we are having 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4x plus 1 plus 2, 3 and 3 plus 3, 6 equals to 46. Now this will be 4x equals to 46 minus 6. That is equals to 40. So x equals to 40 by 4. Therefore, x equals to 10. So the numbers are x equals to 10, x plus 1 equals to 11, x plus 2 equals to 12, and x plus 3 equals to 30 as answer. Now let's do question number 3. Here we are having Manjula thinks a number and subtracts 7 by 3 from it. C multiplies the result by 6 and the result now obtained is 2 less than twice the same number C thought of. What is the number? Now let the number be x and according to question 7 by 3 subtracted from this number. So x minus 7 by 3 and the result what is obtained is multiplied by 6 and this is equals to 2 less than twice this number that is 2x minus 2. Now we are going to solve for x. So first of all we are going to open this bracket and this will be equals to 6x minus 7 upon 3 into 6 equals to 2x minus 2. Now here this is going to cancel out. Here we will be getting 2 and on making a transpose this will be 6x minus 2x equals to minus 2 plus 7 to the 14 that is 1 4. And here this will be 6 minus 2 equals to 4x equals to 14 minus 2 that is 12. And hence x equals to 12 by 4. So x equals to 3. So required number is equals to 3 as answer. Now let's see question number 4. And here we are having a positive number is 7 times another number. If 15 is added to both the numbers, then one of the new number becomes 5 by 2 times the other new number. What are the numbers? Now let the two positive numbers be x and 7x. And now according to question, when 15 is added to both of the number, one number becomes 5 by 2 times the other number. Here we can see this is 7x plus 15, this one is x plus 15. This means this one is smaller. So we are going to multiply 5 by 2 in this number and now this is going to be equated with this one. Then we can proceed by solving for x. First of all we are going to open this bracket and here it will be 5 by 2x plus 5 by 2 into 15 equals to 7x plus 15. Here we can put all of the variables in one side and all of the quotient on the other and by doing so we get 5 by 2x minus 7x equals to 15 minus 5 into 15 that is 75 by 2. Now we are going to solve this all and here on taking LCM we will be getting 2 then 5x minus 14x equals to here again LCM will be 2 only 
This will be 30 minus 75. Now we're going to solve them and we'll be getting 5x minus 14. That is minus 9x upon 2 equals to 30 minus 75. That is minus 45 by 2. Here minus minus can be cancelled out. And now we can make a transpose to get the value of x. That is 4, 5 upon 2 into 2 by 9. This 2 will be cancelled out and this 9 will make it 5. So x equals to 5. So the required numbers are x equals to 5 and 7x equals to 35 as answer. Now let's see question number 5. Here we are having when 3 consecutive even integers are added, the sum is 0. Find the integers. Now let the 3 consecutive integers be x, x plus 2 and x plus 4. As we all know, the difference between the two consecutive even integers is of 2. So we have taken x, then we have added 2 in it and again we have added 2 to get the third even integer. Now according to question, the sum of all the 3 is 0. Therefore, x, x plus 2 and x plus 4 equals to 0. Now we are going to solve for x. Here we are having x plus x plus x that is 3x plus 2 plus 4 that is 6 equals to 0. Now we can put 6 on the other side. This will be 3x equals to minus 6 and x will be equals to minus 6 upon 3. So x equals to minus 2. So required even integers are x equals to minus 2 x plus 2 equals to minus 2 plus 2 that is equals to 0 and x plus 4 equals to minus 2 plus 4 that is equals to 2. Now let's go with question number 6. Here we are having find two consecutive odd integers such that 2 fifth of the smaller exceeds 2 ninth of the greater by 4. Now let two consecutive odd integers be x and x plus 2. As we know the two successive odd number also have a difference of 2 only. So we have added x with 2 to get the successive odd number. Now according to question, 2 fifth of the smaller exceeds means the difference between these two, 2 ninth of the greater by 4. Now we are going to solve it for x. And here we can take LCM of 5 and 9 and this will be equal to 45. This will be multiplied by 9 and it will be 2 into 9 that is 18 x minus 5 into 2 that is 10 with a bracket x plus 2 equals to 4. Now we'll be doing a cross multiplication and open this bracket. It will be 18 x minus 10 x minus 20 equals to 4 into 45. Now solve it. This will be 8 x minus 20 equals to 4 into 45 that is 180. This 20 will be sent on the other side. So it will be 8x equals to 180 plus 20. That is equals to 200. So x equals to 200 by 8. And on solving this, you will be getting 25. That implies x equals 25. So required odd integers are x equals to 25 and x plus 2 equals to 27 as answer. That's all in this video. Thank you.